Mana Market is a food recovery program. Every day in the United States, 263 million pounds of food is thrown away. The USDA reports that 27% of all food produced each year never reaches a plate. Some studies have put that number closer to 40%. Yet, one out of every six Americans experience food insecurity at some point every year. A local man has been working since 2008 to change habits of big box retailers and meet the needs of his neighbors. What we do is we pick up from uh, Lionel Lakes Target, Blaine Target, uh, Brooklyn Center Target, uh, the Cub Store over here in the Blaine Village, and then we make that food available to whoever wants it. So it's food that was, that back in 2008 when we started the Mana Market program used to get thrown away. In the last seven years, the Mana Market has grown faster than forests could have ever imagined. Every week it serves about 4,000 people. Uh, we collect, we recover enough food to create about 65,000 meals a week. Yeah, so it's staggering. <laughs> Uh, it boggles my mind till today. It still boggles my mind uh, how the program has grown and grown and grown. Good Shepherd Covenant Church in Blaine has been a Mana Market site for five years. The small church with a weekly congregation of about 60 people has twice that many volunteers serving the Mana Market guests on Friday nights. We're a small church doing a big thing. We only worship, we're shrinking. We only worship about 55 to 60 on a Sunday. And I bet over 75% of them are here on Fridays. You know, and then the rest um, are just people in the community that have said, you know, we want to we want to be part of this or people that have um, received food and now they want to give back. And in that church, um, they have grown so big that they have in their sanctuary, they have to move all their pews and do the food distribution in there. And that whole church is just filled with food. And uh, it, it choked me up because the, the dedication and the commitment to serving goes way beyond what I would have ever expected. In five years, 2.8 million pounds of recovered food has been given away at Good Shepherd. Their average Friday night distribution sees more than 200 households come through the market. We open the doors at 5 o'clock uh, for registration. Uh, I usually tell people, you don't have to come before that. You know, you don't have to sit out in the parking lot for hours ahead of time uh, because it's done not first come, first serve. We have them, they each get a number when they register, and it's when your number is called. They're all put into a bowl and, and drawn out. Um, but we still have people that will come 3, 30, 4 o'clock and even wait out in the cold, you know, until the doors open at 5. Uh, when they come, they, they register, but then they can also have a meal. Like I said, we, we food rescue the schools, so we collect from 5 uh, and okay, up in schools and uh, use that food, turn it around and use it for the meal on Friday nights. Um, and then at six o'clock we start drawing numbers and uh, we have people that carry boxes, uh, kind of like I say, a, a, a live cart, <laughs> you know, human cart, uh, carrying the box and uh, helping the guests go around the tables as the volunteers at the other side of the table tell them how much and what they can choose from. So they're choosing things that they want so they're not getting things they're going to take home and say, well, I don't need this and then throw it away. Kind of defeats the purpose of the, the food rescue. And you know, if you don't need it, someone down the, down the line just might. So they're taking home things that they want. Bonnie knows that the Mana Market has been an eye-opening experience for many of the volunteers, showing that there is real need right here in their community. You don't realize in your own community how many people are really maybe not um, starving so much. Uh, there's that what they now call um, food insecurity and I guess I didn't realize how many people would need you know so I guess it was a heart pulling on the heartstrings. Both Forrest and Bonnie have numerous stories about the impact the Mana Market has made in the lives of their neighbors. A senior citizen came in retiree and it was at the end of the day we had one box of ugly looking corn. It was all, the husk was all dried up, the kernels were shriveled up, and we had uh, bread, um, um, French bread. And he asked how much he could have. I said, take the whole box of corn, that way I don't have to throw it away. And he said, could he have a box of bread? And I said, sure. So I helped him carry it home. He only lived a block from here. 
And he said, this week the wife and I eat bread and corn. And I said, why? And he says, well, a couple of months ago, Social Security messed up and he hasn't had a check for um, two months now. And I said, well, why don't you go down to the food shelf? He said, I went down last, last month and I could only go once a month. But he said it was so humiliating. Uh, it was really, really hard, he said, for him to just sit there. And I said, you retiree on fixed income, you worked all your life, you, you shouldn't feel that way. He said, yeah, but I did. And he said, I'll never go back. I'd rather starve. So he said, this week the wife and I eat corn and bread. And he said, on Friday, this was Monday, on Friday, the, I should get all my back Social Security payments and I, I'll be just fine. And that broke my heart. Uh, and when he was done, he was so appreciative, you know. He'd uh, buy a little bit of extra groceries and then bring us some canned goods and that kind of stuff, and, you know, to pass out to the other people. One guy came in, and, and this was a few years ago, and uh, he didn't realize we were going to serve a meal. And um, this is where you kind of want to, you know. Um, he said, uh, this is really cool. I didn't know what I was going to feed my kids for dinner tonight. You know, and I just never grew up that way. You know, there was always food in the cupboard and, and, and food in the fridge and, and um, not Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard and it was bare. Um, we've had some that say, you know, all I had was a jar of peanut butter. Or one was all I had was a can of green beans. And I, uh, you're just like speechless. It's, I Just nothing I can fathom. There are still underserved portions of Anoka County. In order to give more people a chance to take advantage of the manna market, Forest will soon be launching a mobile market in addition to the eight permanent sites. We're targeting rural areas especially that don't have a uh, brick and mortar type food shelf. And so we'll be taking food out to those areas and distributing in churches like in Linwood and areas like that. Forest is putting no limitations or expectations on the future of the manna market and states that he is open to anything. He never would have thought it would grow like it has, and word is spreading far and wide about its impact. It's amazing that we have been contacted by people literally all over the country, uh, Arkansas, Alabama, California, all over the state of Minnesota, Iowa, um, Indiana. People have called and inquired about Manor Market because they heard through the grapevine what we're doing, and, and it kind of boggles my mind that, uh, that the Manor Market program has gone out that far. So where does it go from here? Who knows? With more exposure, Forrest is hoping that people recognize the importance of being good stewards of our resources. And Bonnie, after five years of hosting a Manor Market, cannot imagine her community without this service. Hopefully, we get to the point where we're not the best kept secret in Anoka County anymore. How do you not have something like this available to people? For North Metro TV News, Ben Hale reporting.